Hey, this is Mike at the Maine Primitive Skills School, and we have one of our uh, mercenary traveling instructors slash apprentice slash all-arounds woods guys here to uh, share with you a skilled set that is, I haven't seen anyone cover this yet, but the uh, material is useful, it'll help save your equipment and get your fire going every time. Go get him, Jim. <laughs> So, I have a ferro rod that I've been using, I carry on my knife sheath, and I'm sure all of you guys have seen this before, but you get ripples on your ferro rod, and it drives me nuts. And on this ferro rod, I use it all the time, and I got ripples all the way around it. So, I'm, it's driving me nuts, and I don't want to buy a new one, because I'm cheap. So I'm like, I think to myself, how can I fix this? And so I just started, I got the idea of using a rasp, a file, and so I got a bastard cut, which is not a little bit aggressive. So I just started playing with it. And I just started rolling it, rolling. And it's going to spark, but we're all, we li like to live dangerously up here in crazy me. So you just... Scrape it, and as, as I'm scraping it, I'm rolling the ferro rod to get an even scrape. And you do this all the way around, and you can actually file down all those ripples so it's somewhat smooth. And then I used a less aggressive file cut, and I used that to basically get it nice and smooth. And I just worked I worked it all the way around to where it's nice and smooth again. And now I have to coat it with something. So I grabbed some paint from the shed. This is just regular three dollar paint. It's Kelly Green. But then I thought, well if we had orange paint, then I could spray paint this all orange. And then if I drop it, I can find it, unless it's fall. Or you could spray paint it uh, medical blue, and then it'll just stand out no matter where you drop it. You just put a light coat on there. This real light coat. And then you let it dry, hang it, let it dry somewhere, and then you're good to go. Of course, you got to clean the can so the next person can use it. So, there you go. Bushcraft Ferro Rod Maintenance by Jim Kane. <laughs>